Bonjour everybody, bonjour. We're here in Belfast, Lull Island to be precise, because we're not just in Belfast, only for today, and it's going to be great. Hope you're doing well, mentally and physically. Uh, should we get going? Do I look good? I must have got about five and a half hours sleep. Uh, we're just heading into Belfast on, a, on the second day. Woodside haulage, we, do you mind? I'm trying to do a piece to camera. No consideration. Here we are, we've arrived in Belfast. Oh, not been much to see at the minute. Just walked three miles through an industrial estate. And now we're gonna get and have a look around town. Not much is open at the minute. It's a Sunday and it's only just gone eight. Here it is, look, the cathedral. You can tell because there's a giant cross. Or is it a crucifix? Crucifix, isn't it? It's quite modern, isn't it, for uh, English standards. I uh, don't think we can go inside. But I don't mind, because we had a look at one yesterday. And we've got botanical gardens to go and check out. So we've made it to central Belfast. What is Belfast famous for? Um, Irish people? I did that joke yesterday. Um, a lot of fighting, wasn't there? Yep. And also, it's where the Titanic stopped. It was its last stop before it crossed to go to America. Well, it didn't actually cross it because it didn't make it. It sank without a trace. Well, there is a trace. <coughs> Weird people. The exchange place. Through rich and the poor, sugar and cold horses and handcarts. Pay the street for the song, won't you? A labyrinth. Oh, it's like a oh, where all the carts used to be going between the rich and the poor. What is this thing? Has it got water in it? No. Ow! It's got some snotty tissues in there. Oh, I see. So it's a bin. It's a glorified bin. Oh. So most places are still shut because it's only nine o'clock. So I managed to get some potatoes. And I'll be doing a food tasting video later on. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Oh, sorry everyone. I've been walking around for the last three hours trying to find something interesting. I went to some botanic gardens and it was just like a park area. But we're going to go and get the train now and head to the, oh, what's it called? The Giant Causeway. And there's eight miles from the station to get there. Maybe not today. We'll see what time it is when I get there and if my legs can do it. Okay. 
So I've just got off the train. We're here at Port Rush. It's like a little seaside town. And we're heading now to the giant causeway. And I can see hills. My feet are feeling a bit better after resting them on the train. So hopefully we can make it this evening and then find somewhere to camp as we spend the next three days travelling down to Derry, London Derry. There's Port Rushlow in the distance. There's white rocks over here, look. Over there, look, on the horizon. That's where we got to get to. Oh. We do a little bit of a siesta, though. Or well, not sleeping, but a little rest. Oh. Look at this! Can you hear me? Because it's very windy, as usual. See the land over there on the horizon, because that's Scotland. And if you keep going, eventually you'll get to Iceland. That's where Mom's going, it. So we've got the white rocks, but then there's the black ones at the top. Um, I have no idea what period they're from. I've forgotten everything I learnt last year. But it doesn't look like they're gonna go sliding anywhere. Look at that down there. It's like a little pirate's cove, isn't it? Irish pirates hiding the treasure. Or it might have been the Vikings. The Norsemen. A castle, or oh, it's just some ruins, isn't it? Is it open? What's this bloke doing? <sighs> this is a special historic place. Do you not climb? What down there? What oh, are those things on the rock? Penguins. Who lives there? Weird place to live, isn't it? Need to do some mowing, I know that much. 
Oh, it's there, look, it's getting closer. Oh, but maybe not today. Go then find somewhere to camp for the night. Find this place to camp. As you can see, look, it's pretty uh, high on all sides. Stop the wind, and someone's already made a fire. I could relight the fire. Cause that, no, I'm not starting to sing. So I'll just put up the inner skin. And then I'll do the outer. And I'll see you lot tomorrow. Let me get up there, the giant causeway. It's going to be good. I've seen pictures, but in the flesh it's different. Morning viewers, just having a cup of tea by the sea. That rhyme. Oh, it's a bit uh, cloudy today, I think. Where it is? Misty over there, look. Hopefully, it clears up and we don't have any rain. It rained overnight, but. Ah, oh, it's nice. Really nice. The tent is over there, look. There's a lot of slugs climbing up. And a little bird perched on top of the tent this morning, singing away. So that won't be up before the alarm. Hopefully, it's a good day. We'll get to the giant causeway in a bit. Keep you posted. Isn't that just like the most obvious sign ever? Of course there's traffic, it's a road. What's this? Someone's left his uh, nectar card, but it's got a bit wet. Giant causeway, that away. Is it that way? I think I'll mind that. I might go and check the, the time of the tram as well. Why are we here? Yay. Yeah. Clouds moving in. What's this? It's just like gonna break and I'm gonna drop through the skylight. So this is the uh, visitor centre. You can go inside if you've got a spare £15. But you don't have to pay to get to see the giant causeway. Because it's, say it with me now, natural. Wow. You also have to pay if you want to park. But I've got legs and I will use them until you cut them off. Let's go see what we can see, if anything. That's a long way down. Can you just about see the people? I can hear the sea, but I can't see the sea. That's a lot of seas. Should have shout danger. Like the good old days. <sighs> Apparently it takes longer on the high path, but... Red spells danger. Doesn't it? So we've got to take the red path. And we come back, we can come back on the blue path if I haven't fallen down a mountain. These are called the organ pipes. I love Irish people, they're so original with naming things. Wow! Isn't nature amazing?
why is there a door here? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Is this to be a house or something? Why is this path closed? Well, it's not closed, the door's open, look. It's supposed to be an amphitheatre around here. Let me know in the comments if you think this is better than the Jurassic Coast or maybe any of the other ventures I've been on. I still do prefer maybe Scotland, so... I can see why it's called an amphitheatre. Look, it just goes round for days. But the path is shut. Too dangerous. And we've got to go back the other way anyway to get to the giant causeway. Magnifique! You can see why the Vikings came here. Oh, a funny coloured rock down there, I don't know if you can see it. been absolutely no people on this path because it's a dead end but if you come in here why not just go that little bit further and see the amphitheatre and the organ pipes just to you know, you might not be here again you might die before you can come here again if you've got the chance to do something then do it oh, there she blows look come all this way to see that, hundreds of miles. The only place in the world where it exists. Here we are at Giant's Causeway, created millions of years ago due to pressure build-up, which cracked the rocks into a hexagonal shape. Nature's wonderful. We should stop destroying nature and just embrace it. But then you get big tourist buses and stuff. I hope that bus is electric, and the electric is made with sustainable energy. It's amazing, isn't it? Look 
These are all volcanic rocks as well, aren't they? I'm at the top, and that's scary down there. Oh. Can anybody see a camel? Let me zoom in. See it yet? Yeah? Yes, it's a, an adromedary one. So we've got to get back up there. And there's a little little shed here or something. A little shack. Maybe it was a Starbucks, but because there's a lot of American tourists, they're very ignorant and don't move out your way. You've got to be on your best behaviour when you're in someone else's country because you're representing yours. It's starting to heat up, clouds clearing, and we're going to go and get take the uh, tram. Is it a tram? Trolley. It's not a train. Um, anyway, we're going to take that back to Bush Bush Mill, is it? Bush Mill? And then we're going to get a bus back to Port Rush because I didn't fancy walking. I mean, we've got time. Should I walk? But we saw everything yesterday. Mm, maybe. Let's get to Bush Mill anyway. Because uh, I really want to take the little trolley thing. Thank <laughs> you. 